Hi, welcome to Feel Fit TV, your source for nutrition and fitness information to help you live your best, look your best, and feel fit. With a lot of dedication and commitment from you and a little help from me, um, you can feel fit. Today, I'm going to show you a, a very interesting workout. By the way, happy Thanksgiving. The title of this episode is The Great Turkey Workout. I'm going to show you how with a turkey, you can get a good workout. And uh, I'll show you the turkey. Okay, I'm going to get out the turkey for you. See, this is my frozen turkey. It is a butterball. And this turkey weighs 21 pounds. This is thawing in my refrigerator. Okay, let me put the video camera down. I'm going to grab this turkey. All right, got my turkey. Oh, this thing is heavy. Okay, here's my turkey. I'm going to show you like three different exercises that you can do with this turkey. Don't laugh. I know it's crazy, but use these tips to uh, create your own workout. Uh, you don't have to use a turkey. Actually, this is pretty cold. Uh, I brought some uh, some gloves for this turkey workout. Otherwise, my hands are going to freeze. All right, so you can use a five pound, a ten pound. My turkey happens to be big because I'm feeding a lot of people. So, 21 pound turkey. The first thing you're going to do is stand in a. Uh, a uh, medium stance squat position. So your toes are going to be facing out, um, your legs a little bit um, wider than hip width. And uh, when you pick this turkey up, I want you to bend your knees and look straight ahead. So you're picking a frozen turkey up. Okay. You're going to actually raise this turkey above the head and you're going to bring it all the way down. Look behind your legs as you squat it down, press it as far back as you can and lift it back up. Keep going, press way down, reach behind and through your legs. Bending down and pushing that turkey back behind your legs, stand up, a little bend in the knees. Squeeze your glutes as you stand up. Ugh, that's heavy. Okay, you might want to go for like a, uh, 10 to 12 reps. If you have a lighter pound turkey, maybe 15 to 20. If your turkey is really heavy, maybe four to six repetitions. That's the first exercise. The next ex exercise, stand medium width, the toes are pointing forward. Keep your abs nice and tight. Your glutes are squeezed. And take the turkey, hold it to your chest, and from the chest, looking up, press above. Press the turkey overhead bringing it back down to the top of your chest. Pressing, I want you to inhale as you bring it down, exhale as you push it up, keeping your abs tight and your glutes squeezed to protect the low back. There's your second exercise. Again, if this uh, turkey of yours weighs too much, you go for less repetitions. If it weighs lighter, you go up to 15 to 20. So I'm going to show you with this frozen turkey, the next exercise, next exercise, whew, I'm winded, can't even speak, <laughs> which is wood chops. Uh, you're going to stand with the feet a little wider than hips again, um, keeping your abs nice and tight. This exercise is for the core, so I want you to focus on squeezing your abs tight and your rear. You're going to bring this turkey up by the ear and then bring it down with a straight arm to your hip and pivot on your foot. Bring it back up by the ear in a chopping motion down by the hip, up by the ear, chopping motion down by the hip, tighten up your abs, and then you're going to switch directions. So up by the ear, down by the hips, rotate. A little rotation through the midsection, squeezing, tightening up your abdominal area, your rear. All right, I'm getting a good workout. Woof! Ah, that's hard. Try it with 21 pounds. It's a butterball turkey. This is going to taste good too. All right. So you've got three different exercises you can do with your turkey. Next thing I want to do, work the little shoulders. You can grab 
couple cans of what you might use on your turkey uh, dinner table. One here, I've got uh, green beans, corn. I just happened to grab these because they were in the uh, pantry, but you might use like cranberry, can, cranberry or whatever's in the can. Maybe your pumpkin pie mixtures in a can, but we're going to do a shoulder raise with these. So standing feet hip width apart, tight abdominal area, squeeze your rear, arms out to the side. Straight out to the side. I want you to lift these up till they are shoulder level. You don't need to go much higher than the shoulders on this. Just keep the elbows straight, blowing out as you lift up. And this is pretty light for me, so I might go like 20 times. There you have it, with your cans of cut green beans and uh, corn, you can get in another workout. Uh, another exercise for these, uh, with these cans would be a bicep curl. But be creative, you can do overhead press. Anyway, you don't need anything special for your workout. My point is, use what you have. If all you have is a turkey, use it because it's, it's a good way to get a workout. The last thing I'm going to do with you, I don't think the camera's going to be able to see me to uh, squat down too low because I don't have anyone filming me, but I call them a duck, duck waddle. And that's where you're down all the way like this, your butt is dropped, your chest is up, and you waddle forward or around. Or because it's Thanksgiving, we're going to call them turkey trot or turkey waddle. Anyway, it's a good leg workout. You'll feel it in the quads. Stay down low, keep your feet wide, and waddle around like a duck or a turkey. So there you have it, your great Thanksgiving Day workout. Butterball turkey, couple cans of whatever you're gonna use to put on the table, and uh, your turkey trot or your duck waddle. My name is David Cummings, this has been Feel Fit TV episode number six. Eat well this Thanksgiving. A couple tips for you would be to uh, load up on the fresh, healthy choices. Um, put those on your plate first, eat those first, and then just sample or try small pieces of the food that is going to be calorie dense. Another tip for you to try this Thanksgiving is to wait 20 minutes before your next meal. By doing so, uh, the brain has time to register with your stomach how full it is. So if you wait 20 minutes, you might not need that second plate, and then you won't get that feeling of, wow, I ate too much. But happy Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed the great turkey workout. And until then, until next time, feel fit.